Hello everybody. Today I am going to talk about the brief history of English literature. The history of English literature or English literary tradition is a long one and it may be divided into several ages or eras or periods for the sake of convenience. We know the time when the English language was taking shape as Old English period or Middle English period. During some periods, the literature had specific trends. That is why those slots of time have been named according to the specific trends popular in those times. Like Romantic period, um, Neoclassical period, Neoclassical age. At some times, the specific literary trends coincided with the reign of the popular uh, public figures, popular kings or queens. We know such periods according to the names of the popular monarchs who ruled England, like um, the literature written during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I is known as Elizabethan literature and the works written, written during the reign of Queen Victoria belong to the uh, literature of Victorian age. Now let us start from the beginning, that is from Old English period. Old English period is a long one. It is not, uh, it did not last for one century or two centuries, no, it is a long period, long time. Uh, for it opens with the invasion of the Celtic England by Germanic tribes in the first half of the 5th century. And uh, it does not conclude as it is often considered uh, that uh, it concluded with the, with, the, with the Norman conquest, the conquest of England by William the Conqueror in 1000. 66. But it continued late, till later, uh, rather it continued in prose at least till 1150. The events however must be dismissed briefly, I am not going to dwell upon the Old English period for a very long time. The departure of the Romans in the 1000, sorry, in 410 left the British population open to inroads of the invaders from the north. According to British traditions, the English from the other parts of the continent came first as mercenaries to help in defense against the, against the Picts and Scots, but soon they began to settle in the country. <laughs> so, British have the tendency to settle wherever they go as mercenaries. In the course of the time, they gained possession of the land, the whole country. These English tribes were pagans in the beginning when they came to England. Their Christianization began in Northumbria with the work of Irish missionaries. It, were the, it was the Irish missionaries who converted them, those pagans, to Christianity. In succession, 
followed the inroads of dance in the 9th century, the rise of Vesey among the early English kingdoms with important contribution of Alfred the Great. During these Norman ruled centuries, that means after 1656, uh, when English as a language had no official status and no regulation, this language became the third language in its own country. It was largely English was largely a, a, a spoken language rather than written language. And it was not a polished language, it was not a literary language. And it effectively sank to the level of uh, Patois or Creole. The main dialect, the region where this dialect was spoken, yeah, other like other dialects, referred to as the Northern dialect, Midlands, Southern, Kentish. These were the main dialect regions, although they were really just natural developments from uh, the Northumbria, um, uh, uh, Mercian, West Saxon and Kentish dialects of Old English. But they became very popular uh, dialects during this period. Within these, though a myriad dialects, different very large number of dialects, uh, distinct regions, usages and dialects grew up and indeed the proliferation of regional dialects during this time was so extreme, so extreme that people in one part of England could not even understand the language spoken by the people from another part, just 50 miles, like in India language, you know, changes every 50 miles. In the same manner, uh, in England also, there were so many dialects and so different from each other that it was really very difficult for one to understand the language spoken by the people in different parts of the country. During the old English period, written literature began to develop from oral tradition. And in the 8th century, poetry written in the vernacular Anglo-Saxon, which is also known as Old English, appeared. One of the most well-known English, 8th century Old English pieces of literature, piece of literature is Beowulf. This is a great Germanic epic poem. Two poets of the Old English period who wrote on biblical and religious themes were Cadman and Sinewulf. So these were two or three very well-known um, works of literature. Now I will talk about the Middle English period. This period consists of literature produced in the four and a half centuries between the Norman conquest of 166 and, and uh, to 1500, that means around 500 years, when the standard literary language derived from the dialect of the London area became recognizable as modern English. <laughs> 